Hello, so uh, Hello. is a fundamental technology for data transfer over HTTP. And you can check out the website, you can check out the GitHub that has an amazing 30,000 stars. And uh, it's really a fundamental technology for data transfer. And uh, in a context of Ruby on Rails applications, you can use curl to uh, send the HTTP requests from a command line. So let's see how we can use uh, curl in the Ruby on Rails application and understand how we can do it for different types of requests. So here I've got a newly created Ruby on Rails application. And uh, let's uh, try adding a couple of routes to which we are going to make uh, requests to. So I'll first go to our routes folder and I will make uh, a route. For example, get uh, uh, home uh, or like let's say get index uh, to home controller index action. Let's create this home controller. I will go to controllers, create a new file home controller.rb class home controller that inherits from application controller and it will have an index uh, action def index and and let's try making a request to this uh, index action let's uh, also well have it render something let's say uh, render plane uh, hello world so using curl uh, in one window i will start the rail server and in the other i will say curl uh, x get and i will have our url it will be http uh, local host 3000 slash uh, uh, what was the path it was uh, index slash index and you see we get this hello world and we actually made the request so i can repeat it once again you see we actually have a request to the index uh, action okay it works now let's uh, try making a slightly more complex uh, request what if we make uh, index uh, and have a query param so query foo equals bar you see we have this uh, query params here and let's also try rendering them in the controller i will say hello world and uh, i will also include the query params let's say we'll have a, a request dot params i will make the request once again and here we have full bar controller action and so on let's just get the uh, params uh, full and let's say yarrow for example and here you see hello world yarrow so these are basic get requests now let's try making a post request so i will add a root for a post i will say uh, post uh, let it also be index to home uh, create and uh, let's uh, no, let it be not index, let's uh, make it like a uh, uh, post example to uh, post example. Let's make def post example and let's also try rendering the plane. So uh, we will say curl x post, we will have the URL http localhost 3000 slash post example. And we get an error. Now let's see what error it is. Um, okay, invalid authenticity token. So uh, to enable these kinds of requests uh, for non-get actions, we will need to add the protect from forgery with null session. So let's add this to our controller. And uh, let's try making a request again. Okay, we have hello world and let's uh, add a body. So for example, usually in a post request, you'll want to create a record and you will want to have some kind of uh, uh, params. So I will uh, add some kind of uh, params to our body. And for this, I will use the syntax D and then I will have, uh, for example, uh, uh, name uh, SHM, for example. Okay, and let's try getting these uh, params, the data params. So I will say uh, here we've got uh, uh, hello world. Let's just get the data params that we are passing uh, here. So I will say uh, request dot body. Let's see what it gives us. It gives us a string IO. Let's say dot read. And here we have name SHM. Okay, so uh, this is a basic uh, get request and a basic uh, post request. Let's uh, just copy them here so that you have a reference if you go and look at the 
uh, source code. So this is a post request. Here is a get request. I'll just copy them here so that you can look at the source code and reference them later. Okay, now let's go for a more complex example. Let's create a scaffold of uh, posts. Let's say uh, Rails generates scaffold post and a post will have a title and let's say it will have another data type uh, like uh, published. Published, that will be boolean. Uh, okay, Rails DB migrate. And we've got posts. Let's try navigating to our posts. Inside our Ruby on Rails application, I will go to slash posts. Okay, we have no posts at the moment. And now we will try uh, creating a post uh, through our curl, uh, so with terminal. And in similar fashion as we did it uh, in our home controller, we made this kind of request. Let's also do it in our posts. So you see in our default scaffold, we have uh, the create action. And uh, how are we going to make a curl request? So it would be post to uh, posts uh, to slash posts and uh, more, it will be post.json. So, and in the data, we are going to have uh, uh, something like uh, a JSON. So I will say post and uh, inside we will have uh, what do we have in the post? We have a title equals uh, uh, first post and uh, comma uh, published uh, equals uh, false, for example. Let's try making this kind of request. So uh, I'll make this request. What do I get? I get some kind of error. Let's have a look at the error. I think, again, it must be invalid authenticity token. So for this controller, I will uh, add the same line protected with, from forgery with null exception. And I'll make the request again. And I still get an error, param parameter missing. Okay, so not to have this error, I will have to additionally say that uh, the content type is going to be application JSON. So after post, I will say headers uh, will be content type uh, application slash json okay so let's try making this request okay and you see i made the request here and we had uh, an insert so if i go back to our application and refresh you see we have a post and this way we can make actual HTTP requests from our console to create posts. So I refresh now, I created three posts. Now let's try making an update to an existing post. So uh, uh, let's get, uh, yeah, it's going to be a patch, patch. And uh, we're going to get a specific post. So we're going to get a post ID, for example, post one. I'm going to change the title to updated post and published will be true. Let me try making this request. So uh, I make this request. You see, we have an update. I'll go back to our application and you see the title has been updated. Okay, now let's try destroying a post. So uh, in a similar fashion, I will uh, make curl uh, uh, delete. Uh, and uh, I don't need to pass any data here. And the URL is going to be a posts ID. Let me try making this request. Okay, the delete seems to have been successful. I will go back, I refresh, and you see a post has been deleted. Okay, now let's try just getting a single post or getting a list of posts. So I would say, uh, yeah, I'll just copy it from here. Uh, curl x uh, get. Uh, let's uh, see if we need the content type here. I don't need the data params. I'll just need the post JSON. So let's see if it works. I make this request. And here you see I have this uh, array. So yeah, array of uh, hashes. Uh, here's the first hash and here's the second hash. So I have uh, uh, two posts. Let me get just a post with the ID two. I will uh, make a similar request. 
it's going to be curl x uh, get post slash two dot json. Let's see if it works. Okay, here I got just the second post. So it's working. And uh, you see the wonderful thing is that each time I do it, it's an actual request to the server. So you see, it gets updated here. And uh, yeah, looks good. And now as a final touch, uh, yeah, as you see, we've uh, kind of done all the possible requests here. So we can uh, get all the posts, get one post, uh, uh, create a post, update a post, and destroy a post with a curl. And as a final touch, let's see how we can use uh, it uh, with the Turbo Stream broadcasts. So uh, make HTTP requests and live updates to our Ruby on Rails application. So um, let's go to our posts list. I'll go to our index, posts uh, index, and uh, I will say equals turbo stream from uh, posts list. Now going to post.rb and uh, broadcast. Uh, I forgot the syntax, let me just check it. Turbo, okay, broadcast. Yeah, so broadcast to uh, post and it will be posts list in our case. So let me go back, I will refresh. Now I have a TubeStream connection and uh, let me try creating a post and see if uh, it gets added in real time. So I'll go back to our post controller, I'll copy this uh, post request. I will uh, have our posts here, I will try to make this request and see if uh, I get a live update. So yeah, you see. Uh, posts have been added to the list and this way you can in an easily way without having a second browser but just in your terminal test your to stream actions so yeah that's it for this episode and see you in the next one